Hey there, what going on YouTube? It's your boy Drip. Now I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, okay, then back with another video. Today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make gold rims for GTA 5. I so I know it's it's another way to do this, but I found this, this, I found a different way to do it. So I'm gonna be showing y'all that today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Okay, you're gonna need Blender. A newer, a later version of Blender, like the latest updated version, and you're gonna need Z Modeler 3 or better, whichever version of Z Modeler it is. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up, and you also gonna need Open IV. So I'm gonna open up Open IV Blender. I'm going to show y'all why we need Blender. And also, Cold Walker. So get Cold Walker and then I have all of these links in the description below as well. So you can follow along once you download them. Okay, so we got Blender. We got OpenIV. Then we're going to open Z Modeler. Okay. So it might open up two Z Modelers. Hopefully it don't. Yeah, it, it tried to. All right, but I'm finna open up Cold Walker. So we opening a lot of stuff up, as you can see. And I already have some rims. You can also get some rims from my boy Icemax Patreon or his website. And I have that in the link in the description below as well. You feel me? You can buy them or you can find them for free. You can find some for free on GTA 5 mods. All right, so we waiting on Cold Walker. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look for the look for the wheels I want. So I have the Urban Rim Pack. Wait, it's right here. The Urban Rim Pack. I don't know if Smack added Mo to it. Okay, I went to the wrong place. All right, boom. But he might have added some more rims to this pack. And I'm just going to pick out some. Pick out a crazy... I think I just did that one. I'm not sure. What would look lit gold? I believe I did that one in gold. Nah, I didn't do this one. All right, we're going to do this one in gold. So I'm going to drag and drop that to my desktop. And we have this open. You're going to need to hit edit mode. If you don't, it won't let you do nothing. So hit edit mode on it, and then I'm going to drag and drop this into here just so I can export it. I'm going to export it as an XML. So right click and then export as X XML. And then what we do is I'm going to drag it. Uh, I'm going to drag the XML. Is that the wheel though? Yeah, that's the one. I'm gonna drag the XML back into Cold Walk. Boom. All right, now we have this wheel and I'm gonna drag it to the desktop. 
and replace it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Boom. And then, so what we finna do is I'm gonna go into Blender. I'm gonna get rid of that. Get rid of all of this. Well, no, nah, I'm gonna leave the light actually. Delete that. All right, then I'm gonna import. And you will need something like you will need the Cold Walker XML um importer thing. So you should have that. I'm I guess, but yeah, you're gonna need that. And if you can't um find this, then you can try to find some rims that's OBJ. So, but or you can look up another video. It's it's other videos showing how to get this. So just look up another video, my boy. My dog, I but because I don't forgot how to do it. I ain't gonna lie. I right, but here it is. Wheel import that guy, and it should import no problem. Yo, look at that thing, boy. I did not mean to hit that. I meant to hit this other one, but hey. I it, it shows best right here, I'm guessing. And then you come down here and you can see that this, we don't want this. Or we can hide all of this. Matter of fact, where is the, and then I'm going to come right here and then I'm going to hit shade smooth if I can have the option. It should give me a shade smooth. I don't know what I just did. Let me go back. I. Okay, so it says shade smooth. Shade smooth. All right, you don't really have to do that, but um, I'm going to get rid of. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. I think it's right here. Okay, so that's all of it. All right, I'm going to get rid of all of these. Wait, what is this? That's the inside. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of all of these. Try to get rid of all of them. All right, and now we just have the wheel. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to export this as a OBJ. I'm going to just name it wheel or tire. Tire. Hmm. Bring it to the desktop. And then we're going to control Z to go back. And now we're going to get rid of the tire only so boom now we just have the rim we easy all right and so now that we just have the rim we just gonna export the rim as a obj and we're gonna name it rim 2 and i'm gonna export it to the desktop as well all right, so that's easy. We can close out of here now. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and import a car. I already have a car that, you feel me, that has gold. So I'm going to go ahead. You're going to need a car that has the gold material if you want to do it this way. Um, This is just the way that I do it. Take that off. And then I already got the material the ytds and stuff 
So, but you're going to need to find the YTD files if you don't have them, obviously. Um, and as you can see, I picked this car because I already have gold on it. So, boom, you already got your car that has gold. You can probably find a car that has gold or purchase one or purchase a wheel pack that has gold in it. You feel me? And I also leave the material. I'll put I'll put the gold stuff in the link in the description below too. We gonna we gonna help you out. If you probably already got it though, but hey, alright. But since we got that, I'm gonna import the OBJ file. Zo. Import both of them guys. Alright. And so they're right there. I'm going to turn them off. Wait, I wonder if it. Hold on. Did it just. Okay, so it looked like maybe I put to the same one in here. Let me import. Okay, that's the tire. That's the rim. Okay, now we got the rim. I was about to say. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and connect them. So I'm going to turn this one off. I'm going to hit attach. Then I'm going to boom. Put this on. Boom. So now they're both attached. Wait, no, 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 no. Don't do that yet. Don't do it yet. And I'm going to name these. So this going to be tire. This is going to be rim. So I can keep up with them. All right. And then I'm going to select the rim. So you want to hold alt. And then left click on the mouse to do that. All right. And then I'm going to come up to properties. And then I should have. Okay. I'm going to do this again. I should have. Go down to polygons. Materials. And then you find your gold. So go right there. And then you want to hit apply. So that whole thing is gold now. The whole rim is gold. You know what I'm saying? And then for the tire, for this tire part, we're going to hold that. And then. If you're not sure what the tire would be, you can also come up to here. And then make sure you have the vehicle show, hit show all. And then you can like, hold on, my junk be tripping sometimes. You can select the, the wheel on your car. And then, hold on. All right, so the wheel is going to be vehicle generic. Definitely going to be wheel, um, vehicle generic. So, and it's going to be multiple of those probably. So, but we finna, boom, I'm going to hit the tire again. Once, once again, um, come down here and find. Vehicle, generic, tire. I'm going to do this. Maybe it'll, it didn't make it water. I thought it was going to make it water. Vehicle, generic. Um, high 
how do I make this bigger right here? Can I make this? And if you can't do it like this, you can do it another way. So I'm just trying to see if I can get this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just keep trying it. I'm going to hit hide all. Boom, boom. Yeah, see that made it that. And so I'm going to hit hide all. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, okay, that's. Which one did I hit? Default material. Equal generic. Okay, there you go. So that's going to be at the very top. On mine, I'm not sure what it's going to be on yours. But So now we have the gold rim. And the black tire. And that is how you do that. And then also... How you replace them. But I'm just this is just me showing you how to make gold rims. You can figure out how to replace them on another video. But that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Okay then.